One of the uh, issues I am most passionate about is incarcerated victims who are currently serving uh, jail time. Many of them um, were convicted many, many years ago when the laws uh, were different, intimate battery. Uh, intimate partner battering uh, was not a legal defense at the time, and so there are still many women who are stuck basically behind bars with no hope um, except for legislation and advocates. Um, after seeing Sin by Silence, uh, a film, a documentary film uh, about many of these women incarcerated. We're going to talk about uh, the film later and some of the victims uh, who are here. Um, I felt compelled to do something to try to help these women who are still behind bars. I have two bills that will be heard in the Senate and jockeyed by Senator Noreen Evans um, this afternoon. One is AB 595 which will help incarcerated domestic violence victims that were unintentionally denied their original writ of habeas uh, because they did not have competent and substantial expert testimony at their trial. It will also remove the sunset to allow these women to try to retain a lawyer pro bono, which takes many, many years uh, to uh, be assigned a lawyer and also to find a lawyer who's willing to take on these cases. So we hope that we will see justice for um, some of these women. The second bill is AB 1593. Uh, which will provide victims of domestic violence who have suffered intimate patter partner battering a chance to present their evidence at the parole board. I spent 26 years behind bars, and I'm here today because, unfortunately, after my release in October of 2008, I was forced to leave my sisters behind. They're still stuck in the injustice of the system as it stands. And with AB 593 and AB 1593, this will afford them the opportunity to be able to have a chance to gain their freedom after decades of injustice. And it is my hope and their hope that another woman never is forced to live the nightmare that we have all been forced to live. Unfortunately, we still have a long way to go. We've come a long way. The fight's only begun. And we're raising our voices because it matters.